Well, I'm back on board that 49 Ford in 1956. Long before the sun came up, way out in the sticks. The headlights showed a two rut roadway back up in the pines. First time I heard Johnny Cash sing, I walked the line. Well, I got my thrill behind the wheel up on my daddy's lap. Grandpa wrote co pilot with a flashlight and a map. Came pull out the window, it was in the summertime. First time I heard Johnny Cash sing, I walked the line. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends out for the tie that binds. Because you're mine, I walk the line. Somebody on YouTube the other day said your steering wheel's on crooked and they were not telling me anything I didn't know because it had been bugging me for a while. When you're going down the road straight, it sits uh, about like that. It's off a little bit and it's killing me. So, I'm going to yank it off of there. I don't know if I've ever had this wheel off, but I've owned three of these 63s. And I've had them off before. I know how they come off. They're not too tough. It's pretty simple, really. So, um... I'm gonna get to it. Um, you gotta pull that horn ring from underneath. There's a couple of holes in those bars, and they go up to the horn ring, and you unscrew those bolts that holds that on. And then you get to the nut in the center. And I had thought they were, I don't know, I had a couple of screwdrivers out here earlier. I was thinking they were just Phillips screws or something in there, but I was wrong. They're a quarter inch cap screws. So uh, let's get to it. Let's get that thing yanked off of there. Come on, buddy. Come out of there. There we go. Inside the horn, horn ring here are Torx. I don't have the horns hooked up, which is kind of nice because it'd be making a lot of racket when I'm working on it. This thing is so much fun to work on. Good old American stuff got American stuff on it. I'm so glad that I got this car out and started driving it this year a lot. I had considered selling it because I start feeling guilty when my cars get run down. I can't keep up with all of them, keep the upkeep on, on them. And I feel like if I cannot be a good steward to these cars, then I don't deserve to have them. You know, we don't ever own anything. We're just caretakers. So, I'm starting to be a better caretaker of this thing. I'm really glad I'm out driving it because cause, uh, I love it. And, you know, it's like a, it's kind of like a second honeymoon getting this thing out and falling in love with it again, you know? I don't know. I, I've never had a second honeymoon. <laughs> I guess that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I got the right length bolts here.
tripping the relay out there. Okay, there we have it. Now when I go down the road, I'll be happy. I'll be all happy. Well, I never will forget that day. I know the time and place. Sounded like the whole thing came right down from outer space. I can still see those headlights and that dashboard in my mind. First time I heard Johnny Cash sing, I walked the line. I find it very, very easy to be true. I find myself alone when each day's through. Yes, I'll admit that I'm a fool for you. Because you're mine, I walk the line. As sure as night is dark and day is light I keep you on my mind both day and night the happiness that I've known proves that it's right Because you're mine, I walk the line Because you're mine, I walk the line